I personally have a real issue with the general lack of gym etiquette just in commercial gyms. Personally, I haven't spent much time in more private gyms, um, but I'd imagine that it's, it's slightly better there. But just the way the general public conduct themselves in, in um, commercial gyms, it, it blows my mind at times. Now, today I encountered two situations not just one, but two situations where I was just looking at the person like, are, just, are you even there? Like, are you actually there? Like, are you present in this moment, in this environment? Because it really doesn't seem like you are because you, there, you just have absolutely no consideration for what's happening around you. And it, as somebody who prides themselves on being exactly that, like very present in the moment... And very aware of my surroundings. Oh my god, it does my head in. It, oh, it drives me insane. Like, don't be in the studio of a public gym playing your own music. Like, are, are you alright? Like, are you alright in the head? It's the same. On, it's the same type of thing on buses. Like, if you grew up on London, grew up in London, yeah, you probably were, and I was probably once or twice with a few friends of mine that kid on the bus playing your own music out loud just being an absolute asshole you don't do that in a gym bro like don't like what are you like brother there's there's music on anyway which as i was talking about yesterday funnily enough it's debatable whether it should be or not but again that is personal preference but for you to then play your own bullshit music over the music that's already playing in the gym for with absolutely no regard for anybody around you like that's just you're taking the piss bro like you're actually taking the piss like that like it, it should like it shouldn't have pissed me off as much as it did and i think the one of the reasons why it pissed me off so much thinking back at it now is because the same goes for people and gym equipment like I, oh my god when, when today I was doing my weighted pull-ups today And Between sets Because I was trying to go uh, Quite heavy to see what I could do I was having a conversation With a friend at the gym And next thing you know I turn to the side And this guy is literally Moving everything that I'm using Now I'm very very conscious about like the way i lay my shit out in the gym from a perspective of getting in people's way like i like to make sure that like where i'm working isn't gonna affect you working on a piece of especially if pieces of equipment are close like the the place i do pull up the the bar in which you the only straight bar we have at the gym that i go to at the moment is in between two squat racks so i understand that like okay cool i gotta keep my shit tidy so if people want to squat they can squat Anyway, next thing you know, this guy's picking up all of my weights and moving them. I'm putting his stuff on the box that I was using to step up onto the bar and to load my weights onto my belt. And, like, I'm not one to cause commotion in the gym. I'll be real, bro. Like, it's not that place. I'm there for good vibes only, innit? I was just looking at this dude, like, no judgment, no disrespect to the guy, but like you, you, yeah, you don't, let's just say you don't strike me as the most present person, right? Looking into your eyes, I didn't feel much, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't, yeah, let's just, all right, let's just leave it there, innit? And looking at you, yeah, I ain't, uh, yeah, I ain't seen much. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, allow me, allow me. Um, yeah, man, like, it's, and what, 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 what I find funny as well, like, it's always the same type of people that have the best gym etiquette. It's always the people who have clearly been in the gym and look after themselves and have done for a long period of time that seem to be the most pleasant people to be around. Funnily enough, sometimes those guys, those people to some people from the outside, like maybe the average person who doesn't go to the gym, may look at these people as like intimidating most of the time because they look after themselves they're on the more muscular bigger side of things 
Um, and they just happen to be the same people that the second you strike a conversation, boom, their smiles, their, their face is lit up with a smile and you can chit chat with them, chew their ear off, get information, advice, whatever, talk about anything. Um, but it, it just seems to be, it just seems to be coincidentally the people that clearly don't look after themselves and the people that clearly don't or haven't been going to the gym for a long period of time that just have no regard for anybody else like if somebody's stuff is right next to equipment that is clearly being used brother like open your eyes for a split second please please and ask yourself oh this might be being used and take a moment look around assess your surroundings see who's around and just politely oh sorry i don't mean to interrupt are you using this equipment here Oh, yeah, I am, mate. Okay, cool. No worries. Thanks. It's not a complicated conversation. Like, call me annoying, innit? But if you are within half a metre to a metre of a piece of equipment and I can, without disturbing you, politely ask, like, yo, are you using this? Even if it really doesn't look like you are, I'm going to fucking ask. Because on that day that you are, I'm not trying to be that dickhead that just took your shit, whether you're a man or a woman. Like, gender aside, that's just some, oh, that's just some dumb shit to do, man. Um, but yeah, besides that, I had a great fucking session. Saw some good people today, had some good conversations during my workout, got some good lifting in. Uh, it felt real good, it felt real, real good. Um, my, my squats felt, I felt nice and open in my squats the heavier i went the more in control i felt which was real nice um and i had a a friend watching me squat as well just giving me some cues and some pointers and whatnot he's a i admire him as a lifter i really admire him as as a lifter um so when he speaks i'm i'm listening and he actually gave me a little a little a fun little exercise to do today as well that i started messing around with in the middle of my squats um in between my rests or specifically when I felt like I'd rested a little bit too long and I just wanted to get firing again and that lit up my posterior chain nicely my glutes my t-band my hamstrings were were on fire I think you'll see you'll see bits of it in the clips it's almost like a sissy squat with a with a resistance band but not quite a sissy squat um and yeah you and you're not trying to go into a squat it's really weird you'll see it it's really really weird um, but it felt good. It felt real good. And it felt like, I'm not too sure, but having not squatted heavy for a long time now, I have to credit it partly to the amount of control that I felt like I had in my squats. Now, whilst right now I feel really weak at parallel, the other day I thought it was from the hole, but I'm actually bouncing out of the hole quite comfortably. It's As I'm getting to parallel, I'm feeling really weak right now. And I'm struggling to get off of parallel. Um... But again, because I haven't been squatting consistently for a while, like that's understandable. I get some more conditioning rounds in, then I'm sure uh, I'll alleviate that and clean that up. But I managed to get to 120 today, which was nice. I didn't, I didn't come back down for any working sets today because I wanted my main focus to be pull-ups, um, to be completely honest. And got some good, got some good sets in on the pulls. Um, it's nice to be falling in love again with upper body work, both pulls and pressing. Um, really enjoying these weighted pull-ups. I'm doing them slightly differently to the way I was doing them last week. Rather than trying to master a weight, I'm literally just applying the same principles as I would to a squat or a deadlift to the pull-ups. Um, so I did. I failed quite a lot today. I failed. Uh, I got one rep in at 40 kilos, and and that currently stands as my one rep max. Um, I got like half a rep in at 50 kilos, but I consider that a fail. So in my logbook, I've just got it as a failed rep at 50 kilos. I then went down to 45 to see if I could get that. Again, same thing. It was like half to 75% of a rep. That's a failure to me. Um, And then I went all the way back down to 40 to think, okay, cool, let me just get one rep in and I failed that. So I was obviously quite fatigued. So then I just did a quick, uh, really quick five sets of five body weight, um, which felt real good, real easy. Like I'm really poppy on my pull-ups now, which... It's understandable considering I've been fairly consistent now for the last few weeks with these weighted pull-ups. Um, but yeah, like, um, 
excited to play around with new things on that. Um, I'm thinking about working on my technique for a muscle up just because it's a fun thing to do. Um, I don't necessarily, um, I don't necessarily like care to do it for a workout per se. I think it's just like a cool party trick to have. Um, I admire the people who can do like the really slow and controlled muscle ups with no kit. Um, that's the type of shit that eventually I'll definitely um, build towards. Uh, but right now, I want to get to I want to get that seventy kilo uh, weighted pull up. That's a that's quite a big focus for me when it comes to pulling right now. Um, but yeah, all in all, it was a real good session, real good session. And contrary to the beginning of this audio, it was um, it's actually really good vibes, really good vibes. I had some really good conversations, some cool people. Um, there are some cool people at the gym. I do I do like it. And yeah, um, once again. If you made it this far, thank you very much. Um, Have a good evening or morning or afternoon whenever you're watching this. Peace.